If you live in a rural area like me, then you know that high-speed internet does not exist. The best you're going to be able to get is satellite, maybe DSL, depending on how far out you are from a small village or township. For about four years now, I've been looking for a way to get real high-speed internet. Uh, unlimited data, 100 megabit or faster. We were actually on the verge of moving because we couldn't get internet out here. So there's good news. There are systems that you can buy that will give you high speed internet. But the catch is you have to have a friend or family member that is on a high speed internet network such as Time Warner, Cox, or, or the other ones. That friend or family member preferably uh, is going to live close to you. Um, and when I say close to you, preferably line of sight. So I'm going to show you the system that I bought that it does allow me to get high speed internet. And the field you're looking across to right now, I want you to keep this in mind. We'll talk about why this field is so important later on. So what you're looking at is what's called a power beam AC620 or commonly known as a nano bridge. It hooks up almost like a regular satellite but instead of pointing towards outer space you would point this to where the high speed internet access is. This system here has a 450 megabit download speed throughput meaning that it will accept up to 450 megabit download speeds. Now back to the field that I was talking about earlier. So if you look not to the not to the residents to the left there with the red roofs but if you look just to the right of that you'll see a row of houses out there. That's actually a main state highway. That is where my internet access or my internet account actually comes in. So I have Time Warner. I have a Time Warner account that comes in over there. It goes through the AC620 radio and it transmits it across the field to me and it's approximately 1.1 miles away. I pay for 300 megabit download speeds. You would think that by the time that it gets to me that I would have a lot of drop off, I'd lose a lot of speed, and that there would be a ridiculous amount of latency. Running through the system 1.1 miles away, and I'm paying for 300 megabyte download speeds. I'll show you what I actually get once it gets here. So as you can see, I'm able to get well over the 300 megabit that I'm paying for. And I've hit as high as 414. And my upload speed isn't too bad either. I'm hitting right around 22 to 24. This is the actual system itself. I'm, I'm logged into the remote side, meaning I'm logged into the radio that's over a mile away. And I'm looking at... I'm able to look at the throughput, I'm able to look at the amount of power that's coming through, the transmission power, uh, and what's really important here is your RX chain on each one. So this is the remote side, and this is my local side where I'm sitting now. And you want those chains to be uh, right around one to two, and if you can get them to match, that's going to be the best. And that's going to also depend on the weather. Uh, and then transmission power. I have mine set at negative 4. Now a lot of people will crank those up. This will go up as high as 24 decibels. But all you're doing at that point is burning up the radio. Uh, I'm only a mile apart. The only way I'd ever turn it up past 20 is if I was about 20 miles apart. 
and they will reach about 20 to 25 miles uh, consistently and they would be stable now the constellation diagram here uh, that's going to be very important if you see these little wiggly circles here the goal is to get them to be as circular as possible so as constricted as possible um, no matter how tight you get it you'll still have the dancing around that's the actual radio waves I can also look at the radio interference coming across that field right here in the 5800 megahertz range uh, there's a little bit of interference that's probably somebody else's DSL or Wi-Fi router uh, that they have up for their satellite connection I'm the only one out here where I live uh, that I'm aware of that actually has this system I'm the only one that has high-speed internet out here now the system I use is made by ubiquity um, I use the AC 620 um, somewhere on here it's the uh, yeah power beam AC is what it is and this is more for a point-to-point -point access meaning the internet comes in at one location and you direct it to where you want it um, these systems are actually pretty cheap I spent I spent right around twelve hundred dollars uh, it was a lot more than I had to spend um, no matter where you're at you can get something up and running for maybe around five or six hundred bucks and if you're paying a ton for internet where you're at this thing will pay for itself in no time uh, but ubiquity offers a lot of they, they offer a lot of products here um, you just have to decide what's going to be best for you I went with the power beam AC because it is a very stable system but there's other ones out there um, and like I said you can expect to spend right around five or six hundred bucks you just want to make sure you get all the proper power cable the cat six or higher you want to make sure you have surge protection in line which you can also buy that here and then you also want to make sure that you buy the proper mounting kit um, it does come with the hardware to mount it to a pole um, but finding that pole at your local hardware store you're not going to find anything over 20 feet um, and you want to have it about 25 feet or higher if you're out in the country then you also have to factor in uh, field growth such as corn it's going to grow to 12, 13, 14 foot sometimes so you want to be able to get above that the cool part about these systems is it comes with the ability to run power through the ethernet cable so you don't have to run secondary power to it you run the ethernet cable to it that's it you run that into your home the way I have mine set up is um, I have the access point across the field it shoots it across the field to my radio and then from my radio I run a single cat 6 Ethernet cable into my house and then into a, a router and I have the best router on the market before I moved to the country I built this sweet ass computer uh, with the best of everything in it and I got out here to the country and I called to have Time Warner hooked up and they told me it wasn't available in my area but that they could run it to my area for $55,000 so that wasn't feasible and I had to find a new way so I ended up researching it it took me about three or four years to come up with this um, so I built this sweet ass computer and it sat here for about three years so basically I had about a six thousand dollar paperweight now that I have high speed this thing is smoking fast so I hope you liked the video I hope I was able to help somebody out uh, to get high speed internet to their home if you're in a rural area please like or comment at the bottom and I will be back with more videos once I learn how to work the ubiquity power beam uh, to show you what it's capable of doing. Thanks again.